In this segment, we're going to take a look at the Slow Redraw tool, and that's found here on your left-hand toolbar. What I think I'll do is just start a new um, design and base it on one of the embroidery designs that we have, just so that there's something that we can watch, you know, sew on our screen. So I'll go ahead and just import this embroidery design that came with the software, of the hearts with the arrow coming through it. And what I'm going to do now is turn on the slow redraw tool right here. So what it does is it actually opens up this um, little small little box. And you can control in here things like the speed of the stitches, how fast it will sew, this little slider. You have the ability to say start and stop. Um, these are some advancements like I can quickly jump to the beginning of the design or to the end or you can skip by object or by color and you get the choice between whether it moves the frame or moves the embroidery head. Now I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to push start. So there's my needle and it's showing me at 1900 stitches per minute um, how this design is going to sew and you can actually see the underlay stitches and you'll be able to watch the sewing sequence as this sews along. And I'm still able to zoom in like this if I want to get closer. I just using my um, scroll mouse to zoom in while it's sewing. And if I wanted to speed it up, I could just grab on this little slider and bring it over here and that would get it to sew more quickly. And that's kind of a great thing um, to be able to, you know, quickly get to a spot and then slow it right down and watch that part sew and then you could speed it up again as needed. And so let's see now if I push stop you'll see it just basically stops right where I am and I would have the ability to for example I could skip to the end of the object or I could skip right to the end of that color and I could go backwards the same sort of way backwards to the beginning of the color um, this one would jump me all the way to the end of the design or this one on the other side would jump me all the way back to the beginning of the design so those are your ways that you can kind of quickly jump through the design and if I turn on this, so it says move frame, if I change it, so it's either move head or move frame. And now if I turn it, you'll see that it actually moves with me and I can see the, the whole sort of screen moving. If I stop, change it to move head, and then say start, now just the needle moves and my screen remains stationary. It's a little bit easier to watch it that way. Anyway, the purpose of slow redraw is going to be so that you can understand the way the design is going to sew. You'll be able to see the type of underlay that's being generated and um, the sewing order of the design and just exactly how it's going to be stitching out. So it's a way to, I guess, proof your design for any mistakes that may have been missed in the designing process or just catch something that you forgot about um, before you take it to your machine and stitch it out. So yeah, that's the slow redraw tool and it's found here on your left hand toolbar.